Hello everyone. We are finally back with Cooking with Elisa and I have Libby with me today and my wonderful husband, Monty, who really is the mastermind of cooking in our house. Um, he actually is the one that taught me how to cook many years ago and um, he does a lot of the cooking. We kind of share that responsibility, but um, so he's going to be helping us a lot today and we are happy to be back. Um, fortunately, our family stuck at home for the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and but that gives us time to do these videos. Right. But we've only been home for one day, and it's already gone. How's it going, Libby? <laughs> A little crazy. <laughs> but this gives us this time to make some more videos and keep on with our um, project of cooking through Julia Child's cookbook together. Um, so today we're going to be making a cabbage soup together and um, it's, I've never had this one before, I've never seen it before, but it's supposedly really good for the winter time and the cooler weather. So today is a really cold, windy day outside, so hopefully this will turn out well. You going to try it for us, Libby, the cabbage soup? Uh -huh. Good. All right. So let's get started. Okay. The first part of the recipe is we are going to need uh, three to four cups of peeled and chopped potatoes and bacon, a whole pound of bacon. So I'm gonna work on just peeling the potatoes now. And again, I'm using um, all, mostly all pamper chip products through the recipe. So if you have any questions about any of the ones I'm using, just send me a message or there'll be a link with the video. up just like you're making mashed potatoes just dice them up they can just be roughly chopped okay now I have three cups of potatoes um, already peeled. You could peel it in cubes. You could do this ahead of time, I would think. Fill it with water and put it in the refrigerator. Um, and there's lids that go to these cups that work super nice for storing things if you're prepping ahead. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw that into our pot with a pound of bacon. And you could use um, salt pork as well um, or ham. Um, salted ham in the pot um, but we're just going to use bacon today because that's what I have so bacon water and the potatoes and then we'll move from there just going to have that come to a boil and while we're waiting on that to boil we're going to chop up our cabbage and all the other ingredients that go with it now we're going to roughly slice up one big head of cabbage it needs to be like two to three pounds and i did weigh this one before and that's exactly what it was it was two pounds You gotta make sure you pull the core out. Which is the best part of the cabbage. And you give the core to Libby to eat. <laughs> and to Monty. Yes. They add salt to it and it's delicious. A little snack while you're okay. cooking. Yeah, I didn't have to do it over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roughly slice this up. 
No perfect slices here, all rustic. It's really good grab this core. Yeah. Hear the chomping? Yep. Do not like chomping. All right. I'm going to take that and put it. Let me grab a bowl. Bowl. I'm a really bad sous chef. I should have had that for you. All right. And large mixing bowl. Pour all this in it. Cause we're going to put this all into the pot at the same time once it starts boiling. Then, oh, leave it there. Ooh, more cabbage core. Ooh, more, more. Yeah. Oh. And quarter up. It said two onions. Um, some people in my family aren't huge on onions, so I'm using one. Ooh, two onions. You should probably use three onions. I don't like onions. So I just quarter that like that. And then the celery. Three sprigs of celery. Celery. Gonna slice that. I just threw the bad parts of the celery in. <laughs> um, I'm disgusting with it. All right, and then two carrots. We are going to. Oh, yeah. carrots! Where's Man the... down! Man down! <laughs> There's my slicer. We're going to slice Should up the can't. carrots. Watch your hands, Libby. That's something that I'm all done right now. Um, yeah, that's all down there. That's good. No, it's fine because we have a garbage disposal that will take care of it. All right, we're just going to quarter these. Throw those in. No. And now turnips. These are all optional ingredients, the carrots and the turnips. Um... So you can add them if you want. I'm not a huge fan of turnips, but turnips do add good flavor to soups. I don't even know what they are. They're just I like enough like like potatoes or something like that, but just slightly enough different where they really add that different flavor and different texture, I think. I like them a lot. I like them more as I got older, I guess, than I did when I was younger. Oh. But I think they're really good. Them and like parsnips, things like that. The smell of turnips remind me of being at my babysitter's growing up. She had a, I guess you call it like a cellar where she kept her potatoes and turnips. And she'd always send us to the cellar to grab potatoes and turnips and things for her when she was cooking. Such a huge smell, an aromatic smell that just brings back memories. Whoa. Look your buggers. six sprigs of parsley and I'm just going to tie that together with my husband's excellent smart trick of using the stem of one thing of parsley. 
Typically you use like string or something like that, but we don't have string. So MacGyver it is. So there we go. And it's technically, I think it's called a bouquet garni. I think that's the right word. I mean, we're French cooking anyway, right? And I think that's what it's called. I have no idea. All right, so we got our sprigs of parsley here. One extra there that we didn't need. And then the bay leaf. I'm gonna just throw that into here. And then we've got garlic. Use my garlic press. Throw that in. And you can hear the chaos going on behind me, which is perfectly fine. That's light in the day of the Berryman house. Thankfully, we are quarantining now at a larger house than where we used to live. Right. Otherwise, it'd be very noisy and we wouldn't be able to do these great videos. Our house before this, there were six of us in thousand square foot with one bathroom. I'd be kidding. We and did. Like we did well with it. We were very good. But it is very nice to have a little bit of extra room. And then, so that was four things of garlic. The marginal, marg, marginal. marjoram. Is that how you say it? I'm going to ask the husband to pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All of these are brand new. A pinch of cayenne pepper. This is surprisingly not. Just to add some heat. Spicy. And half a teaspoon of thyme, thyme leaves. This is a fourth a teaspoon. I need half a teaspoon. But the kids put away the dishes, which is very nice that that's one of their chores. But they sometimes put things where we can't find them. So I'm going to use two of these since I can't find my half a teaspoon. And a half a teaspoon of margarine. And then we just wait for the pot to boil and we'll throw all this in. And it cooks for an hour and a half. But I'll show you when we throw it in. Now we did have to switch the pots. You'll see in a minute we had to get a larger pot. So this would be a great meal if you're on a budget and you need something to feed a lot of people or feed you for many days. Um, but we did switch the pot. But now I'm just going to take our beautiful mixture here and throw it in the pot. Gently and carefully. Let's see, make sure I don't, yeah, Libby, step back. Make sure I don't get myself here. And we got all the cabbage there. That is a lot of food. Just knock it down a little bit. And then we partially cover it and turn it down a little bit just to a simmer. So a simmer is when it's not really boiling, it's just like slight bubbles here and there, but it's still cooking a little bit high. Usually for me, it's between a low heat to um, level two on our oven, on our stove top. Um, just kind of keep an eye on it. When you put the lid partially on, it's gonna cook a little bit faster, so. Just keep an eye there. And I'll keep an eye. It looks to me like it might need more water, but I know cabbage cooks down a lot. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on that too. I'm gonna turn it down low. Add my lid. Not all the way on, just partially on. And then let it go for about an hour and a half to two hours. It says until the meat is tender. Now we're just using bacon already sliced, so our meat's gonna be tender pretty quick. So I'm just gonna let it go the full hour and a half. And then we'll be back. And uh, one more thing that we're going to add, I have a can of Great Northern beans, any type of white beans you could use. And I use just a can just because it's easier. So you just add that the last 15 minutes and just cook until it's warmed up, until the beans are warmed up. Um, you could use dried beans um, that are partially cooked and put it in from the beginning. Um, but you can tell, move over here, it's already all come together really well. Um, the turnips are very well cooked now and easily to pull apart. 
Um, and the smell is amazing. So we're gonna give that just maybe 15 more minutes, maybe not quite. I took the bacon pieces out, or whatever salted pork you used, and cut them into bite-sized pieces. And now we're just gonna throw that back in with the soup. And then we will section out some for our taste testers. Um, bouquet, whatever you call it. <laughs> bouquet um, garni. Bouquet garni. Stay together. And you can see the bay leaf and everything in there. So I could just pull all of it out at once. All right. Okay, Daddy. Time to taste. Time to taste. All right. It looks really good. I'm trying a little bit of everything. I'm going to blow onto it. Cabbage, the parsnips and bacon. Hot, but good. Yeah, fun. Can I try bacon? I think it's good. Hmm, really good. We have a third taste tester over here. What'd you say, Layla? It's good. It's good. It's hot. Very good. Mm. Oh, onions. It's very warm. Ah! ah! Tongue bun. Very warming. It's very bacony. Mm. I like bacon. Mm hmm. Oh, there's beans. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, there's some beans, and that's a parsnip right there, I think, or a potato. I'm not sure. Wait, what? Try it. See if it's a parsnip or a potato. Okay, potato. <laughs> I just dropped my bacon. It's very good. Hot. Hot, All the fat in the bacon gives it a good mouthfeel. So hot, but so good. What if you're the upgrade? That's half the card. It doesn't look good, but when you try it, it's good. All right, thank you all for joining us for this episode. And next, we will be making a strained fish soup. What? Sounds weird, but what? I'm sure it'll be delicious. Mm -hmm. And then I'm hoping the next week to find, I'm going to skip forward in the book instead of going straight through like I had planned. See if I can find some Thanksgiving recipes to share the yes. next week. Yes. Because we all know what's our favorite holiday? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Food. Food. <laughs> all right. We will see you again soon. Hit the like button and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>